There are all types of tortures that are done across the world. We've heard a lot about torture. We heard about hanging someone off the roof, like waterboarding them, beating them, and other types of tortures. But what's the worst way of torturing someone? Which torture causes the most damage to someone? The worst way of torturing someone is white torture. In this task, nobody physically hurts you. You don't even see people. You will not only not see people, but you won't see any color except white. In white torture, everything is white. If you're in a room like this, you won't see anything but white. The walls are white, roof and the floor white bed and other stuff all white there's no such thing as windows and there's also a white bright light that is always on even at night when you're in this type of room you're not supposed to see anybody if you see someone you've seen another color other than white like their face or hair color or something else if you want to go to the bathroom, you're going to have to slide a white piece of paper underneath the door. In this case, the guard knows that he has to open the door for the bathroom remotely. In the bathroom, everything is also white. You might say, good thing it's not black. Back in the old days, they called a room like this a black hole. And you could say this is a white hole, which is worse than a black hole. So what do they eat? The food is white too. Because there's only white rice on a white plate with a white fork and a white water cup. When a person only sees the color white, it gets really scary. Really quickly, the person forgets what other colors actually look like. When you're exposed to this much white, you even forget how your loved ones look like, even your wife or your mother. And this is when you start to go crazy. There's no physical damage. There's no cussing or yelling. It's you and your thoughts in a white, white room. We should remember, when a person is experiencing this, not only is it white, you also can't hear anything. The entire room is soundproof, so you can't hear anything outside. And when you don't hear any noise, the thoughts in your head sound like people, and you begin to go crazy, and the voices in your head become real. Governments really like this type of torture, because nobody has to actually physically hurt someone or take time with them. They just leave them in a white room to make them go crazy. When a person only experiences white things, he's gonna come out begging and asking the people to come talk to him and he'll say everything. This torture for some people is extremely difficult and after two to three days, they already give out. But there are some people that are tougher than that and they can last for months. But in the end, they all break. And the longer the wait, the crazier they become and the more damaged they become. The people that went through white torture don't even have a single bruise on their body, but their thoughts are extremely damaged. Another white torture that happens in Guantanamo doesn't hurt the prisoner physically either. They just block their senses, meaning your sense of smell, sense of seeing, and sense of hearing are all blocked off. They put an eye cover on you, a mask so you can't smell, 
and hearing protection and you can't hear anything. And even your hand and feet are covered with this thick type of glove where you can't even feel anything with your hands anymore. This type of torture has the same result as white torture. They're gonna break eventually, some sooner, some later. The British had their own way of torturing as well. In the 1970s, they would do this to the Irishmen that were against them. The British would put a bag over the person's head and the person couldn't see anything. They could just breathe. Then they had speakers inside the cell that made a hissing noise. And the hissing noise was like a really annoying whistle. And it made the person very angry to hear that constantly. This torture was invented by the British. After they did this type of stuff to the Irish, a lot of governments around the world copied them. And that is why you find this type of torture all around the world, with no physically hurting anybody, but getting answers. You could say this is the most brutal torture of all time, because the people that went through it would explain that they could not go back to what they were like. They can't sleep at night. They said they would rather have every bone in their body broken than to go through that. Unfortunately, governments all around the world do this type of stuff. CNN and New York Times have reported this type of torture happens in the US, UK, Brazil, Venezuela, Iraq, Israel, and Iran. The information was gotten from CNN and New York Times. These two news sources say that these countries use this type of torture because prisoners have gotten out and they explained it to the news. But there is a possibility that in other countries this happens but no news gets out. Kind of like Russia, Saudi Arabia, North Korea, and Egypt. Since the beginning of time, Humans have tortured their enemies in different types of ways. Back in the day, very brutal and recently very strategic. They don't beat or bruise anybody up. All they need is a white room and white light. It's kind of like the internet. Instead of messing them up physically, you mess them up mentally. Do you guys think there will be a day where humans stop torturing others just for good information? Please leave a comment.